Hi, this is Gali Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So the day, today, the quote of the day is by Jared Diamond. And it says, perhaps our greatest distinction as a species is our capacity, unique among animals, to make counter-evolutionary choices. Now this is true and it is so crazy if you think of it. We are the only species that really has free will. And we can choose a path that may be good for us or we can choose a path that may be detrimental to us. It is really our choice. Now Craig Lounsborough once said that it's not that I've been invited to a hole that I'm standing in. It's that I've accepted the invitation. Now there are many times in life that we have to make a choice to take a specific action. So how do you know that you are taking the right path for you? How do you know that you're making the right choice? Well, I've learned through my experience two methods that make a choice, that make the choice making much, much process, the choice making process. Well, I've learned through my experience two methods that make the choice making process much easier. So whenever I'm having difficulty deciding what to do, I use one of these two methods or both of them and I will teach these two methods to you. So the first method is what I call the 4-1 method. When you look at your hand, uh, you have five fingers and uh, Based on your, when you look at your hand, you can make your choice. If you take four fingers for the effect that your choice will have on your future, on the future in general, and one finger for the effect the choice will have on your current situation. Now, although we as a species have the ability to make counter uh, evolutionary choices, we want to make sure that we're not making such choices that usually come from a place of greed or an immature line of thinking. So by examining your choice through the effect that it may have on your future, much more than the examining the effect that it will have on your current situation, then you will learn to look at the decision through a completely different perspective, through the lens uh, that has nothing to do with your current emotional state or your current situation in general. You have a cleaner perspective on your choice, on the decision, on the effects that your decision will have on the future and on your life in general. And uh, the perspective uh, will not be affected by your current mindset. So your choice will not be influenced by petty little uh, things that are of less importance to the bigger picture of you and your life in general. So a few examples of this are when you want to choose your partner for life. You want to have in mind not only what they can give you now uh, and not only if you're attracted to them at the moment, but you also want to make sure that their values and their moral code is similar to yours so that you know if you have similar values, then you, this will make your future together as parents and as friends much more satisfying and easy. Also, when choosing your line of work, you, you want to make sure that you're not only looking at the current pay if it's enough to meet your needs, but also that you have a place to grow in this job, that you can develop new skills and become a better person in the future as a result of taking this job or line of work. Now with health, it is exactly the same. You can use this method. For example, you can have uh, five days uh, with uh, one day you can indulge in a comfort food, something that is not a, uh, the healthiest of foods, but the other four days you want to make sure that you are feeding your body nourishing foods that do not harm you. Or when you, you're doing exercise, you can have four days of intensive exercise or um, endurance exercise of any type, and then one day of less physical exertion, one day of rest. And when determining your own goals for the future, you can also use this method. You should only take into account uh, the pleasure it will lead to you in the present moment about one-fifth of the total uh, decision process while taking into account the positive effect on your future that it has about four-fifths of the weight that it has. 
And this is the best way to make a decision. Uh, but still, there is the other way that I was talking about. The way that I will introduce now is really best for big decisions. The second method for making great decisions is to think of the effect your decision will have on the next five de generations of your lineage. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but if you think of it, this type of thinking has led us to where we are today as a species. Our previous ancestors, previous generations, made most of their decisions in this manner, allowing us today to live the free life that we currently have to enjoy. Now, we must also care for our future generations in the same way that we were cared for by our previous generations. And this is why every choice we make must take into consideration the future, so as to ensure the vitality of our species. Remember that not only you will have to live with the outcome of your choices, but so will your future generations. Now, this line of decision making has led me to choose uh, the best real estate deals and allowed me to make part of my fortune from real estate. I would examine the deal with regard to whether it would lead my future generations to still benefit from this choice. Before I came across this line of thinking, I would buy and sell my real estate by using my intuition and sense of location. But after learning this, I put my future generations in mind and decided to only sell pro specific properties and to keep other properties. And this has changed my line of thought of where I should invest as well. I now take into account my knowledge of sustainability and global warming before deciding where I want to invest my money. For example, there are places that I would never buy real estate even though the market is now very, very prosperous. And this is because I understand that global warming will lead to a rise in sea levels. And most probably, my future generations will get a lot of heartache from such properties. So I look at the future for answers to my questions of the day. And I find that this line of thought has led me in the right direction while knowing that I am doing the right thing. Now, you want to have a little enjoyment, of course, from your decisions at the moment, but only as a small percentage of the thought process should be for current pleasure, while most of the thought process should be focused on the future consequences of your decisions. Every action we take will have an effect on the world, whether we like it or whether we believe it or not. So it is wise to consider the consequences of our actions before taking them. Now, as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life towards a better place for you. So the question of the day is, where do I need to make a decision in life at the moment? And what would I choose if I thought in terms of the 401 method of four thoughts for the future and one thought for the present moment? And I can take and can, and can I take the decision process even further and think of its effects on my future generations. What decision would I make if I took the future into major consideration for this decision? So this is the, the question that you want to have in mind when making uh, any uh, choice that, is, that you have now to make. As usual, I recommend writing this, these questions in, in a notebook that you have especially for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them from time to time and see how you're improving your life and how everything is coming and is getting to be, a, you're having a better life for yourself. Now, the affirmation of the day is I make the best choices and decisions and I take full responsibility for the choices and decisions I make for myself. I make the best choices and decisions and I take full responsibility for the choices and decisions I make for myself. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation really has the power to alter your life, your consciousness, and then it leads you to think and behave in a different way and it leads to a better life for you. So thank you very much for joining me here today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel if you like the content. I upload this kind of content about uh, almost every day and a health and uh, wellness video once a week. Also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to do with health, weight loss, and to improve your life. 
in a natural way. So thank you very much for joining. Mm-hmm.